All right, let's get into the news and notes. News and notes from around the league. All right, um, in uh, little whiny girl news, uh, Ryan Mallett did not finish the game last night. Hey, that's offensive to me. It is? Yeah, call him a little whiny man. Okay. He, he was a little whiny man. He, yeah, was, he was. That was pouting. exactly what he was. I don't blame him, though, because he had a great first drive. It's and then one he- thing to show some displeasure to a coach to tell somebody something. It's another thing to constantly be pulling your helmet on and off and, <laughs> and mouthing, you know, or, you know, we didn't hear the words, but you could tell what yeah. he was saying. Okay. I, that's I don't. B, that's BS. I don't, I don't blame him for being upset. I right, definitely right, right. blame him for the way his upsetness was shown and, like a little whiny baby man. Yes. Thank and you. and the thing is, is <laughs> it was so directly proportional to whatever happened on the field, which was great. Like at the end of the game when that, I mean, terrible decision no, by he, Brian Hoyer. He called that – Ryan Mallett called that play in. Yeah, I'm sure. That's what we don't realize. But terrible decision by Hoyer, and so the ball gets intercepted, and Mallett's like, oh, throwing his head around like, I wouldn't have made that throw. But no matter what, it was like – I got a track record of <laughs> dominance. If it was, I was a good on a play, clinic. you could tell that he wanted him to perform bad. Like, he, yes, was, not, yes. he was not in it for the Texans. They needed that win. <laughs> yeah. That's not news at all. This is not, that no, was not and, news. And, and none of these quarterbacks there are fantasy relevant. So welcome to the fantasy footballers. All right. We're, what I actually want to focus on in this section of news and notes is just getting into uh, essentially who do we think is playing out of the injured guys this week. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to shoot through these guys and uh, you let me know. What's it going to be, McFly? Are you in or out? Um, all right. Jay Cutler. In. in. All right. I think we knew that. Latavius Murray, is he playing? I, in. I think so. He's questionable, but he should be good to go. What about Marshawn? Game time decision again. Ugh. What's your What's your gut tell you? Is he going to play? My gut tells the me. The owners need to know. My gut tells me that you need to be prepared with another option. So that is, I you, agree, you lean on the no side? Yeah. I lean on the yes side. Okay. Uh, Jeremy Hill. He, in. What he, is his current he just, status? He's, Why is he, he in this list? Because he's been limited uh, the entire week through practice. So it's just something that... To it to watch the what are you what, what is that face? That face is like I just traded Geo on one of my other leagues. Oh, I, I thought you were making the face that like no, Hill, you're, Hill no, hasn't you're been fine. Practicing. No, 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 you get credit. I, I was literally that was the Geo bitter traded Geo face. I think Sorry. he'll he'll Hill should be fine, but he just it, it, if he doesn't practice or is very limited again today, then then there could be a problem. All right, so keep your eye on that, Tevin Coleman. Uh, I think he plays. Yeah, a little bit limited though, but yeah. Does he play a very limited role? Yes, yes. He is limited in. Joy limited. Bell is still on the roster. Does he play? <laughs> Out. <laughs> All right. Carlos Williams. Carlos Williams, the concussed Carlos Williams. What's the latest on him? What do we do? Why, who in the world do you start in Buffalo right now? So Carlos <laughs> Williams concussion, still not practicing. No, he didn't practice today, Friday. Uh, a booby Dixon. Shady's out. Yeah, Shady, we believe, is out. So uh, Shady's out. Carlos Williams is almost definitely out then. If he's if he hasn't been cleared by today, he's almost definitely out. Now so they, could they have still two play. guys left named Booby and Boom. <laughs> Boom Heron is there. What is going on? Yeah. And Booby Dixon is, is still a little banged up. I'm I'm worried about the workload. And Jason made this point uh, right before the show began. Uh <laughs> they they sure could use Fred Jackson up in Buffalo. What were you doing, Buffalo? <sighs> well, I mean, you know. That's a clown Car- show. That that's that's a very convenient argument at the moment when Thank you have you. Yeah, I like when you have arguments. Carlos Williams performing at the level he did. He they they made the right decision with Carlos. Have you ever seen Fred Jackson injured? He's hurt right now. I know. I okay. know. <laughs> uh Alshon Jeffrey, is he playing? Oh, actually we didn't answer the question. So would you start oh. Anthony Dixon? If no. he if he goes, man, it's it's hard to trust him now with the injury. I liked him very much before. Can you start Charles news. Clay at running back? <laughs> <laughs> well, Charles Clay's on this list, so we'll have to see if they can start him at tight end. Ah, he's all right. All right, Alshon Jeffrey, do you expect him to miss a fourth consecutive game? Yes. Not sounding good. Yeah. All right. Alan Hearns. I think he plays in. I Mike, thought this was in or out. It is. Michael Crabtree. Sorry. In. Yeah. So, Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I'm very angry over here. Uh, Crabtree in. Eddie Royal. In. Stevie Johnson. Out. Out. Sammy Watkins. Out. Out. Deshaun Jackson. Out. Out. Devontae Adams. Out. Out. Charles Clay. In. In. Please in. 
Uh, <laughs> Vernon Davis. In, in and great. And delightful. And I disagree. With we, you. we were I disagree disagreeing. with you both. So we were disagreeing, and the last couple weeks I have made you a tight end top 10 bet. So will you take Vernon Davis top <laughs> Yeah! Water bet. I, I understand the argument behind liking Vernon Davis this week with the tight end defense for the Giants. What I think you will realize quickly is that just because Vernon Davis is playing doesn't mean he's going to be the only guy catching the pass passes out of the backfield. Or I mean, sorry, out of the tight end spot. I think Garrett Selleck's still going to be involved. Vance McDonald will get snaps. It's just not going to be a volume thing. I'm not worried about him. He will not be top 10. I believe you have lost the last two tight end water bets. Well, I, yeah, that's because I made the stupid decision to make the bet from your position. Yeah. Well, hold on. It's I'm hard to be top I'm 10. I'm pulling up the, uh, the tight end numbers here. No, thank you. Yeah. I'll pass. Nope. The what do you mean the he, tight the York, end? What, do, what are the, the tight end numbers? People want the, to know. The New York Giants. Uh, so week one, they gave up 10 for 68 and three touchdowns. Week two, four for 77. That was against Atlanta. Week three against Washington, six for 96. Last week against Buffalo, 11 for 128. Just a lot of yards, and that's the type of player that Vernon Davis is right now in his career, those longer passes. No, he's not. Vernon Davis stinks. Okay. <laughs> he hasn't shown me that you, he doesn't stink in a just, really long time. This sounds like an embittered man who if he likes comes back, Vernon Davis at the beginning of the year. Of course I do. <laughs> I like Vernon Davis if he's healthy and been showing me something consistently. I don't like him in this game. And so that's why we made a bet right now. That's fine. We can be polar about it. I mean, you guys were all over Moncrief last night. We all know how that worked out.